Go. Hi ladies, welcome to prenatal core strength. This video is designed to introduce you to a handful of exercises that will help strengthen your deeper core muscles, the transverse abdominus muscles, those low abdominal muscles that protect your spine, as well as your external and internal obliques and your low back extensors. All right, let's get started. The only thing you need is you, yourself, your body, and the mat. Okay, we're gonna go into a cat camel just to warm up. I want you to line up your wrists directly underneath the shoulders, hips directly over the knees. Roll those shoulders back and down, squeezing into your lats, or think of squeezing into your underarms. Take the abdominals without changing the bones. Exhale. And I want you to think of lifting up. Like there's a little sling right here. Inhale through the nose. Your neck is long. Exhale. Contract. Into that cat stretch. Hold. Push up a little bit more. Get that nice stretch. Inhale. Open the chest. Again. Exhale. This also helps to stretch your perineal, which is good as you get closer to actually giving birth. Inhale. Open. Going on to what's called the floating cat. You want to squeeze those shoulders back, pull the belly in, curl the toes under. One, two, three. You're going to float the knees up. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, so feel shoulder strength as well, but I want you to feel that low band of belly muscles working. One more time. We'll hold for eight this time. Exhale. Lift. And notice my knees are just hovering. Ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From here, if you are not in your third trimester, I'm 31 weeks, so two legs is good for me. But if you're earlier in your pregnancy, you can try floating one leg up. It'll just challenge your core a little bit more. Okay, moving on. We're going to go into airplane, also known as bird dog. You're going to inhale, extend the right arm and the left leg out. Now reach. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Long, lean lines. Exhale, draw it in without shifting the shoulders or the hips. Let's repeat. Left arm, right leg. Inhale through the nose to reach out. Exhale, feel your core. Bring that leg and arm in one more time. I would recommend about five sets on your own for the sake of the video. We're just doing two today. Left arm, right leg. Inhale. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale. Come all the way in. Okay, we're going to flow onto your side. I want you to go onto your forearm. Make sure this is in a parallel line. Elbow underneath the shoulders. Tuck your bum as much as you can and push those hips forward. So we want to get that length in the hip flexors. Arm and the thigh. You're going to lift. Hold. So we are working your shoulder, your lats your obliques, a little bit of those thighs as well. Hold and rest. We're going to do this again with little pulses. Exhale, lift. Reach the arm in the air and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Keep going. 4, 3. Are you feeling this? Hopefully, yes. 2, 1, and rest. From here, we're going to come up into kneeling side overs. If you've ever taken a reformer class, you may have done these on the reformer. This is the mat version. Push that entire foot into the mat. Feel like there's a band. Pulling those hip bones, drawing together. Knit the ribs, hands behind the head. If this is too much, keep one arm on the thigh. That's another modification. Ready? Inhale, you're pushing out of that foot. Reach away. Exhale, float up. One and two. Three, I'm also squeezing my left glute a little bit too, so you're feeling that work as well. Three, and four, we'll go to eight, five, six, two more, seven, eight, yes, and then we're going to hold, reach those arms up, hold for eight, seven, six, stretch, five, four, three, two, one, rest, let's flip on to the other side. We're going to go back into the side bridge. Your forearm is down. Tuck your seat forward, lining up your elbow underneath the shoulder, arm on the thigh. One, two, three. Lift up. 
Make sure everything's in alignment. Your neck is long. If you need to make any adjustments, you can do this for the second one. I'm going to move my elbow in. One, two, three. Lift. Arm in the air and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reach and rest. Going on to kneeling side overs. So come up. Place the foot at the edge of the mat. Imagine you have a little hammock or a sling pulling that belly up. We're going to keep the shoulders down, hands behind the head. Gently pushing your head back into the palms. Inhale, reach over. Exhale up. And two, exhale. Three, with each exhale, feel everything zipping in. Four, five, exhale up. Six, two more. Seven, eight, good, and then we're going to reach those arms, stretch, hold for eight, seven, six, five, keep pulling that belly into the front, or belly into the back, back into the belly, three more counts, two, one, rest. Finally, we're going to end with a forearm plank. So we're going to stay down on the knees, but I want you to hinge the hips forward. You can make a little prayer position with the palms, squeeze the shoulders back, Make sure your neck is long, pulling that belly in, and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, you can squeeze your glutes a little bit here too if you'd like, 5, 4, pushing out the shoulders, 3, 2, and 1, and rest. That is all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in.